You eat your fries how? Let's talk about that. A good mythical morning. We're about to uncover the particular and divisive ways you eat different foods. But first, this portion of today's episode is sponsored by Aura. Let us tell you why you should start using Aura. Have you ever Googled your name and been surprised to see you or your family's personal information exposed? If you haven't, do it right now. It is creepy! Yeah, the information is available for anyone, including spammers and robocallers, thanks to data brokers. Is this a bit infuriating? Yes. So if you're like us and you don't want your personal information being exposed and sold for a profit, that's where Aura comes in. Aura is an all-in-one digital protection tool that can help keep your data safe and secure. Aura identifies data brokers who make money by selling your information and will work on your behalf to opt you out of public listing sites. And you can actually go to aura.com slash GMM to try Aura for free for two weeks and see how many data brokers are sharing your information already. Mm -hmm. Because if you're anything like me, you know those spam calls gotta stop. So mm -hmm. let Aura get to work removing you from those lists. Aura also monitors social security numbers, email addresses, and passwords to see if they were involved in any data breaches and exposed on the dark web. If Aura finds any of this sensitive information, it'll give you recommendations on how to secure it before someone attempts to steal your identity and your money. With Aura, all adult members included in your plan are each protected by a million dollar insurance policy that covers eligible losses and fees resulting from identity theft. So if any information is compromised, you're still protected. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, fraud monitoring, and internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need all inside one app. So protect yourself and your family. Go to Aura.com slash GMM to start your two week free trial. You won't believe how much exposed information you're gonna find in those two weeks. Let Aura keep you safe. Thanks again to Aura for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Now, we all know there is a right and a wrong way to eat certain foods. Like mm -hmm. for example, if you find out somebody bites into their string cheese instead of peeling it, well, you found out about me because I do that. <laughs> I just remember something I learned about the right way to eat a fruit roll up, um, but I can't tell you on this show. Maybe GME. Okay, well. <laughs> Today, we're gonna explore even more of how you, mythical beasts, prefer to eat your food. This time for Incredible Edible Percentables. Hey, how do you eat that edition? We asked the mythical beasts to pick between two different ways to eat a series of foods. You'll try both versions each round and work together to guess how the beasts voted using our Incredible Edible Percentables wow. chart. We love it. Got that pie chart. Hey, don't break it, don't it's break in it. It's motion. It feels like you might break it. If you correctly guess the majority's preference, you win one point. If you guess within 15% of the actual total, you win an additional three points. There are 16 points up for grabs in this game, so if you earn nine or more points, you win some super cool percentage shirts. Good percentage shirts? Percentage shirts. I kind of wore my percentage shirt. Yeah, you did. I'm 40%. Salmon. I don't know what color that is, actually. I don't know what color either of them is. I do know that this is pizza, and that's also pizza, but there's ranch here. Would you have thought that this is like a choice between like, are you gonna eat pizza or dip your pizza in ranch? Like, I mean. No, but I mean, I definitely see pizza sometimes, and there's, you know, the dipping sauces. If there's a ranch there, why would I not dip the pizza in it? I guess because it's, I don't know, if it was like, a Hawaiian pizza or a barbecue chicken pizza? I don't think my pizza like in ranch. Specified. I dip my crust in ranch. Mm. Mm. I actually like it better without ranch. Pepperoni pizza is so good already. So when you saw this pizza dipped in ranch versus plain pizza, what would you vote? Well, this is where the psychology of this game comes in. Because you just said that you would vote no ranch, and yeah. I said I would vote ranch. But I'm. I'm, Just like that. I'm trying split. to get into the mind of a mythical beast who pulls this up. Plain pizza. Plain pizza. Sounds negative. Oh, it needs ranch probably. Oh, I can dip it in ranch? Yeah, it probably needs ranch. But I think because- But then there's people who are like, but I my don't favorite like type ranch. of pizza I don't is like this, ranch. and it doesn't go with ranch. I don't like ranch. So it's not like it's gonna be up here. No. I think that they balance each other out and it's exactly 
I think that we can't, we more, can't do that. More people <laughs> can't do it. I, I think we I should. I think we should though. I think we should. I'm, oh, we I'm can't. Saying, we, we literally can't because you have to pick one. You can't do 50 50, right? Sure, you no, can. No, you can do 50 50. Oh. But then it's like, if you didn't agree, like, we, you can't be right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's. I feel like we have to choose one. That's what I was saying. For the point system to and work. And I, th I think we need to go. To, we need to favor ranch. I think more people are just going to. I represent the mindless survey taker. Oh, ranch? Huh, yeah. Yeah, I'll figure it out later. I don't know if you're right about this. Man. So you want to make it 55? More plain pizza than ranch? I it, think so, bro. It is an odd thing. It's like, it's a it's such a choice. You're, you've already made a choice to eat pizza. That's a great choice. You've made a good choice that day. Well, I will go, I'll go with- 50. I was gonna say 51. Oh, really? I was gonna say 51 okay. in turn, in, in, on the and side of And I was gonna plane. say 45, so that brings us to 48-ish. But if you're not, if you're wrong about ranch being the majority, then we lose those points. Oh, you see what I'm saying? It's not about just being close. It's about yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, we, if we're in, within 15 percent, we get three points. But we don't an get the one an point. Additional three points. Okay, so we're going. I'm going for 50. 51, 51 plain. 51 percent plain. 59 percent of the mythical beasts voted in favor of. Plain pizza, while 41% voted for eating their pizza dipped right. in ranch. You're right, and so 41 to 51, we got the extra three points. We got all them yeah! points. Yeah! All them points. Yeah! 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 Why am I scared? Rios. Rios. Or Rios. Disassembled Oreos. It's, huh. it's very tempting Split apart. to take apart an Oreo. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like you know, remember fidget spinners? Remember when that was a thing? I mean, we even stoop so low as to like incorporate that into our content for a second. What were we thinking? I know what we were thinking. This ain't gonna last long, but if it'll get a click today, we need to do it. Remember that? Fidget spinners, I still got all the ones from those days in my pockets right now. Yeah, because if you don't, like if I just hold this, and when you bite it, it kind of, it buckles on itself when you bite it. I think you're overthinking it already though. What I was gonna say is, while it is tempting to do this and fun and I do it, most people want to eat the cookie as it was designed and they want to dip it in milk and it's better if it's got both sides. Yeah. So I'm, I will die on the hill of non-split Oreos being the majority. The question- I agree, I agree with that. Is to you what only, extent? You only split them apart if you're gonna just eat the the stuff out of the middle, and then throw that away, right? Or eat it separately, or if you're just gonna eat half and half, half of it pretty, pretty much sucks, right? How does that feel? 38 to 62. How does that feel? It feels pretty good because if we went even more, people like to they think. Lo they, they, lo they, like they love to, to do it. Oh yeah, I do that. They like to think that they do it. Yeah, so it's almost like a 60-40 split, but not quite, so like 62-38. <laughs> you really want that 38, don't you? I mean, how, how does it feel to you when I say that? Does it feel right? Does it feel right when I say that? It feels pretty right. I almost feel like you nailed it. You know what, I think it might be 37. I gotta leave my mark. Okay. So 63 to 37. Mm -hmm. 63 percent of people prefer whole Oreos. We're dying on that hill. 57 percent of the mythical beasts like to eat Oreos whole, while 43 yes! percent prefer them split apart. We're so good. We're so at good. This. We're so good. Can we release that game? No. It's just about how awesome we are. At in incredible edible percentables. It doesn't sound like a game. It sounds like a book. <laughs> We're, We're so, so good. good. I mentioned Ooh. just on a, just a recent episode. Recently, people just scattering fry. Uh, fr uh, what is that red stuff? Ketchup. Ketchup all over their fries, and then you or putting their ketchup in a thing so that what's all this yellow stuff? Uh, French fries. French fries can just be 
untouched. And the thing I took issue with was the dollop in the corner of a pile of fries, which I'm not a huge fan of. Mm -hmm. What I prefer is exactly what we've got going over here, which is a dip in a different container or on, just on a plate next to the fries. I, that, that's what I think should actually happen. I don't think, this never happens. Nobody. You, you don't have ramekins where I, you come from? I actually do have ramekins at my house. We are a ramekin friendly but at household. But at fast food places, they usually give you ketchup. Well, no, they don't give it to you in a little package. Yeah, and then you, and you, you just, or you got the, you got the um, thing. See, you're, I'm just observing. You, you haven't even touched those. And, well, I ate one already. You know why though? It's kind of like pickup sticks. You're like because you don't want to get the ketchup on your hands. Yeah, you got it. You have to really dodge. What around. am I, a child? Nobody. I mean, people, nobody prefers this. People who eat it with a fork prefer. Can we even get? Can we get rid of all the yellow? You know, you're wrong I, about I that. I might like, break the thing if I do that. Like, like the percentage of people who do something that you think is dumb is always higher than you anticipate. That's what makes America America. Okay. Um, well, I can't go past uh, like ten percent anyway. I know you don't like even numbers like eighty so twenty. So twenty percent like to do this. Why do they like it? The ch the challenge of it, the gamification of eating. Um, the more you talk about it, the more I make it seventy five twenty. People do. People do do it. People do do it. And I don't know why they do it. They should don't it. It really doesn't make any sense on any level. Um, I'm saying 75, 25. I think 25%, but you know what? This is the mythical beast. They're a little bit smarter than normal folk. That's right. They're not that smart though. No, 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 no. Ain't nobody that They're smart. They're 80-20s. They're 80-20s. Let's see. Because this, is, Five, def 10, this is definitely a test of your intelligence, <laughs> is what we're implying. Are you locked in? 80-20. Yeah. A whopping 92%. I told you, man! But we still got the point. On the side. 8% the other side. 92%. Y'all are so smart. Y'all are so intelligent. So smart. You're smarter than even I gave you credit for. Nobody it. likes it, but it seems like, I, I think it happens about half the time. I bet you. We're just a bunch of hypocrites. The general public is probably 60-40. Yep, yep, yep. You should be proud of yourself. Okay, Link, I know you have strong feelings about this. Lick a popsicle or bite a popsicle. Now, now we've already won. Yeah, we gotta get the queen sweep. We gotta get the queen sweep and I'm talking about getting all four points right now. Now, even you, a person who does not believe in biting icy things, you don't go all the way through your entire popsicle experience without ever biting it, even towards the end. I mean, that would be, that's a crazy thing to say. No, I can't believe anyone would, is this like, is it the first thing you do when you get the popsicle? Or is it the last thing you do when you get your popsicle? No one's licking all the way to the stick, right? Or are we talking about whether or not people do what I do, which is take it and buy it. I can't do that. It's, 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 not, it's not a belief. Huh? <laughs> okay, with a response like that, I don't think I'm gonna get through to you. Huh? Huh? Oh, are you talking to me? You don't think that's a belief? It's not a belief. It, it, it's a sensitivity. And, I mean, it hurts me, but I want it I'm, bad. I'm, I'm the victim here. I have a condition, and there's nothing about me. It okay. hurts. It's not. You think it's it nothing doesn't about hurt? That that's like zany. Hold on. You think it doesn't hurt? Is that pain is good sometimes? I don't think it hurts you the way it hurts me. Okay, get in front of my brain for a second. I'm in so much pain right now. I'm the victim. Let's get that straight. I'm not only the victim of sensitive teeth, but I'm also the victim of your judgment. Mm. For no reason. Mm. I didn't earn it, I didn't ask for it, and yeah. you should apologize for but it. But who's on the popsicle number two now, see? You're still licking popsicle one. I mean, oh, what, what was that? It broke off, see? I didn't even have all that. No, to be truthful, I don't just pick it up and do it like that. I pick it up and you get a little lick job going. It's too going. cold. It's too cold to stay in my mouth. You know, you lick it a little bit and then you get bored and you say, you bite it. Stevie, do you know what can't. is being asked here? Like, do you know? 
the I believe the poll was just simply do you prefer I can do that. It was lick, to lick, lick or, or bite? bite. Lick yeah. or bite. I can do that. Look. Yeah, you do it. <laughs> Might I suggest molars? I don't bite. I, th- I think I teeth. think that's worth. Because then it might, worse. Yeah. Bite quick. No, you do a double bite. Do a single bite like this, like quick. I and then like, and then middle on my tongue. Separate and set on the tongue. Oh. You got to look cooler when you do it, though. <clears throat> I don't need to look cool. I'm the CEO of a company. That's right. He's got a point. Um, I wouldn't eat those in front of your kids, though. They'll lose all faith in you. I think people bite. Uh, to me, the the bite is implying no lick. Lick is not implying no bite. I think popsicles were meant to be licked. And if we go with right. our if we're going with our logic, which is most people choose to enjoy something as its inventor intended. As a as a lick. Yep. But I mean But everybody I, I think, bites at some point. I think this is probably gonna be split, but I'm leaning towards like forty nine percent. I think it might be more. I think more people might lick it. You think more people but are going to say I'm trying, they let's lick take it? into account the confusion that comes into this. It depends That's on That's what makes it such a tight People result. are like, "Well, I mean, I lick it, but then I bite it." I mean, I mean, I had to choose I got to choose one. I mean, what what would I what would I definitely do if I was Definitely eating I feel strong. I would definitely bite it. Strong? No, you definitely, I definitely lick, lick it. Definitely lick it to start. You definitely Is it lick what I start it. with? Maybe it's what I start with. Definitely lick no it. No one in, in, in no mythical beast is actually that guy that I'm being right now. No one's this guy who looks up when he makes decisions. No one's this guy. I think none of you are this guy. If you look up when you're making decisions with your eyes but not with your head. If you have to think about just something stop. and you look up like this, just stop doing it. I'm feeling you pretty don't want, good. You don't want to telegraph how hard you're thinking about anything. You don't want to look like you're putting that much effort in when you're thinking about something. Like somebody asks you a difficult question, you're like, uh, like you definitely don't want to make a constipated set. Uh, like we can't hear you thinking. Don't let us hear you thinking. Think silently. Gosh. Hey Queen. Listen. Hey to me. Queen. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Queen Sweet. That's right. I'm thinking, I'm feeling good about 45. 55, 45. I like that. Queen Sweet. 54% yeah. of the mythical beasts Lick it. voted to bite. No! What just happened? Uh, what just happened? What just happened? It could be a good horror movie, uh, The Thinker. Uh, it's like it's like The Grudge, but it's just a guy who comes out into your bedroom and goes. Uh, 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 give me a second. Uh, we didn't queen sweep, but we still oh, got. We're the still win. winners. We're, We're still, still CEOs. All right, check this out. Percentable shirt, twenty oh, percent cool. stud, eighty percent muffin. That's okay. you. Uh, wait, what? That's funny. I'm ninety nine percent angel, but shh, that one percent. <laughs> oh, it's oh. I thought that was a shh. But, but shh. <laughs> that one percent. Don't tell anybody about that. Ninety nine percent angel, but oh, that one percent. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Oh. Hi, I'm Grant. And I'm Steph. And we're enjoying a sunset here in Toronto, Canada on Grant's 33rd birthday. And it's It's time time to spin spin the the wheel wheel of mythicality. mythicality. (laughs) Happy birthday. Wow, they're so happy. Yeah, they are. Oh, to be young. They're in love or 33. Just fun siblings, I don't know. And in love. Click the top link to watch us match the Coke flavor to its strange name in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is going to land. It's cookout week over at Sporked, May 29th through June 2nd. Get all the recommendations for the best cookout essentials.